Okay, so this is Jazz, and I'm going to run through what I'm doing here. My furnace is a Goodman furnace, and this panel goes on the bottom, and this particular panel goes on the top. So all I did was unscrew the top panel, and I unscrewed the bottom panel, just setting those aside. The problem that I was having was the furnace would come on and then it would shut off, come on and off, as long as it would stay on was about five minutes. So I was having a problem with trying to figure out what's going on. So I went to trusty YouTube and Google and discovered that this particular switch here, which is a safety switch once you take the panel off, it'll shut down your furnace. And in order for me to diagnose what's going on with the furnace, of course I turned this uh, switch off to shut the uh, electric off to the furnace. And this will automatically shut the furnace down. So in order for me to diagnose what was going on here, I'm gonna have to hit this reset because there's gonna be a light that flashes here and that light has a decoder on this panel. I don't know if you can see it here, but there's a decoder on this panel that'll tell me what the flashing lights are. So let's just take a look at this. I'm going to flip on the switch, the power, and I'm going to press the reset button here to fire up the furnace. Hopefully it'll fire up. I hear clicking, there's another click. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, the light at the bottom is flashing. You see the flashing there? So I'm getting three flashes. So that flash is telling me that there's something going on with the air pressure. So I can hear the fan, but it's not firing up. It's still not firing up. I'm holding this. Still not firing up. Wait a minute, I see flame. We may, it's trying. It's trying. I see some flame. Okay, so there it went off. So the, the three flashes, are, that's telling me that this air pressure switch is either faulty or clogged. So what I did was I took a chance on the fact that, well, I actually did on another day take this piece off here, which is the, if you can see this, I did take this off and I took the tube off and kind of saw whether or not there was a clog there and blew into it. And I didn't see any uh, clog. So assuming that this switch has gone bad, so I did order a new switch. So what I'm going to do today is to uh, replace this piece. So stay tuned. We'll see if it works. And again, this is the, uh, the new air pressure switch. And you just really have to read your, your serial number to make sure you're getting the right replacement. Yeah, it's kind of hard to miss that. And you know you're ordering the right part. This part was only $15. So hold on, hold on I'm going to replace. Okay, so I've uh, replaced this piece. I put the new one on. So we're going to flip the switch up and hit the reset. Let's see if we can get her fired up. I'm holding in the reset button now. All 
right, that clicks. Hear the air pressure. Let's see if she'll fire up. Fingers are crossed, toes are crossed. I see the igniter, I see the flame. It's trying to light. Got a good glow there. Yes, yes, all right, the furnace, all right, success, all right, all right, so <clears throat> that took me all of about two minutes to replace uh, the air pressure switch here, and uh, hopefully this video was helpful, it was a $15 investment, and probably saved God knows how much money uh, it saved me from having some uh, person to come out and tell me that I needed a new furnace. Oftentimes we are uh, pretty taken aback by uh, contractors who take advantage of us. So this is Jazz and hopefully this was a helpful video about how to diagnose and uh, kind of repair your, your furnace. Uh, particularly when it's something as simple as the uh, the uh, pressure switch here. Okay, so <clears throat> if anybody think that I don't do this by myself, come on over here, babe, with that flashlight. Because this one here that's holding the flashlight, she wants to get some photo credit. You see, you see this? You see her holding this flashlight? This is the part that, this is her job. I put the screws back in as I put the furnace back together. <laughs> you have call she, me call she, me out. Yeah, I called you out. But she only show up for the part where she can hold a flashlight. And then she wants to get video credit. She wants to get labor credit. Not even video. Cause she wants she wants me to give her credit for helping. <laughs> At least. Lord Jesus. So I'm putting the screws back in. Actually, you want to put the screw in? Just to you know, hold this in. Actually, this might be your part that the screw is in crooked. But, you know, just to hold this in. Hold the panel on. Make sure the little ones don't come down. So I'm fooling around with this thing here. Put the panels back on. You know, we don't have any little, little ones. Right, so, so furnace is back together. Uh, this is the part I replaced. This is the old part. I put the new part on. It took me all of about uh, two minutes. Yeah, flip this furnace on here. This is my job. Yeah, this is this is <laughs> you know, funny. All right, so that's all, folks. There you have it. There it is. Fire it up. Now we don't need heat because it'll be in the it'll be low 60s tomorrow here in Philadelphia. But hopefully this was something that you've learned and save you a few dollars. Actually, more than a few dollars probably would have cost me about four or five hundred dollars to have a contractor come in and do what it cost me fifteen dollars to do. So that's all, folks.